Well, Mark, congratulations on behalf of everyone at Carlton. Great result. Thoroughly deserved. What a year you've had. You must be pinching your cheeks. Yeah, pinching the cheeks. Yeah, it's, um, that's a bit of a thrill to, to, uh, to win the John Nichols medal. So, um, yeah, the f- first one I've got after finishing second a couple of times and a third. So it's, uh, yeah, finally good to, to finally finish it on top of the Judd man, which I don't think will happen too often. Um, it might be, you know, in fact, the changing of the guard perhaps, you know, that you know, Chris Judd did say that, you know, it was important that players like yourself, Gibbsy, all started to come through. Um, you know, it could be a pivotal year in many respects. Yeah, I think there's been a, a remarkable increase in performance from a lot of individuals. I think um, Cade Simpson was had a fantastic year as, as well as Hayes Scotland at the age of 30. So, um, not to mention uh, young Bryce here finishing third. So, uh, there's a lot of guys who um, have upped their games, and, and that's what you need if you're going to contend for a premiership over the, over the next few years. So, um, you know, obviously Chris Yaron going down back and. And Lockie Henderson playing good footy down back. There's a, a lot of guys who are, are working hard in their games and are starting to uh, get some good results. I remember you saying earlier in the year that Carlton right now is a pretty good place to be. What, what's affected the turnaround where so many guys are coming through as players and at the same time seem to be really enjoying themselves doing it? Yeah, I think um, everyone's just been working so hard and everyone's, everyone's really professional now at the club. And um, it's tough work, but at the end of the day, you get the, re- you get the results and, and get that, that success of winning games. And, and to win um, 15 games or, or something what we did this year was, was a great feeling. And footy, footy just feels so much better when you, you, you're tasting that success. So, um, you know, we want to obviously win more games than what we did this year. So, again, we'll have to work hard on the track again and, and work hard on ourselves um, with our leadership. and. And, uh, and everything that goes with that. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck into it again. Your father, John, was a champion player for Fitzroy. Um, he's always in the rooms after the Carlton Games. What sort of an influence has he been on your career? Yeah, he's been, he's been massive. Uh, there's obviously a lot of coaches at Carlton that have helped me out over the years, but um, to be able to, to go away from the club and talk to my old man about, about footy, and he doesn't say too much, but what he does say is um, you know, he's pretty knowledgeable. He knows what's going on, so... Um, it's, he's been a, you know, a great, uh, great motivator and a great inspiration to uh, to play good footy. He, he never, he never. I think he only played one final and and didn't win that. So um, when we won that game against against us in that first final, I've never seen him so happy um, just to win a finals game. So uh, hopefully, I can see that face a few more times over the next few years. And you must really be looking forward to 2012 beyond with real sense of anticipation. Yeah, I um, yeah, watched obviously the last few finals games and, and watched it pretty pretty frustrated that we weren't involved. So um, I don't think we're too far off, you know, tasting that ultimate success. But it's not just going to happen for us. We need to work hard and um, you know need a bit of luck with injury and, and all that sort of stuff. But I think we you know we've got the guys at the at the club who are on the right track and the coaches are really um, you know enforcing what what we need to do to uh, to get up into those uh, that top four and then you know challenge from premiership. So uh, you know, all, all the hard work begins again. We start from day dot again. But um, you know I can't wait to get stuck into it with the boys. Thanks, Mark. All the best. Well you done. Did, you didn't mention the uh, the misspelling of my name too. M A R K from J Allen. That was shocking. That was you. M-A-R-K, I've only been here for six years, but that was great. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. I'm totally thrown now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jay Allen.